Remember, we're always open. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Wonderlands. Today, we're going to be talking about enchanting, which is essentially the return of anointments from Borderlands 3. There's a lot of confusion surrounding the enchantments in this game. If you have an enchantment for your melee weapon, for example, does it count for your primary weapon, even though your melee weapon's on your back? What about your grenade mods? What about your shield? If you have an enchantment on a weapon that is currently stowed on your back, does it count for your primary weapon if you enable an action skill, right? There's lots of questions surrounding this. And I've done lots of testing, and I'm here to answer all of your questions in a nice, short, and concise video. So what I did here is I went to Bright Hoof, and of course we have our target dummies right here. And it's actually very simple to test out all this kind of stuff. Just make sure you have no buffs. Currently, right now, I actually have virtually no skill points whatsoever. And I was able to go ahead and test out a bunch of different things. We have a bunch of different enchantments here on my weapons. We have on my melee weapon here, when action skill is active, increase dark magic damage by 50%. That's very nice. Here on my grenade mod, on action skill start. Increased damage dealt by 20% for 20 seconds. Here we have on action skill start, increased gun damage by 40% for 10 seconds. We have an enchant for the Graveborn here in particular. We have this one on spellcast, increased lightning damage. We have all sorts of different enchantments here, right? And I went through and I tested all these individually, and here's what I came up with. So to make this as simple as possible, basically picture anything on your character as making your enchants actually work. If we look at our character here, we have a melee weapon on our back, we have a primary weapon, we have our grenade mod, we have our class mod, we have our armor. If you have enchantments on any of that stuff, it is going to count. Your melee weapon, especially if you're not a melee focused character, just picture it as like an extra ring. It's there just basically to give you an enchant, essentially. So for me, it's when my action skill is active, it's going to increase my dark magic damage by 50%. That is always going to be active even with a normal weapon in my hand just shooting at enemies that is fantastic that's what's great about melee weapons and when it comes to your other things your grenade mod enchant that is always going to work if you have an enchantment on your shield that is going to work i'm not particularly certain if you can actually get enchants for your rings or your neck or maybe even your class mod i'm not sure about that because i personally haven't ran into that but if you do have to find enchants on anything like this then those will work as well essentially the only enchantments that don't work are are overlapping ones and enchants that are on your other weapons. So for example, again, if I'm using the Shadow Fire here that does not have an enchant, whenever I cast a spell, the enchantment for my shotgun here is not going to take effect. The only time that is actually going to take effect is when the shotgun is physically in my hands, right? If that makes any sense. Now, you may be wondering about stacking buffs. I know I was personally wondering about this. So here on my grenade mod, on action skill start, increase damage dealt by 20% for 20 seconds. So I'm like, that's pretty good. But I also have have a sword here that does the exact same thing on action skill start increased damage dealt by 20% for 20 seconds so my thought was if I have the exact same enchant do they stack do I get twice the benefit no you don't you do not get twice the benefit. I have tested all of this here in Bright Hoof. I tested them all out in training dummies, not using talents or anything like that. I figured it all out. They do not stack, which is unfortunate, but at least now you know. So the best thing you can do is try to spread out your enchantments as much as humanly possible. A good rule of thumb for this is essentially going to be if it's a different enchantment, it is going to work, right? So on action skill start, increase damage dealt by 20% for 20 seconds. On action skill start, increase gun damage by 40% for 10 seconds. On action Actions, or while action skill is active, increase dark magic damage by 50%. These are all different enchantments. They all have different powers, and as a result, they all do stack. They all go together, which is fantastic. It's really good, but if they're the exact same enchantment across your grenade mod and your melee weapon, or maybe your shield and your primary weapon, those do not stack. They will not work. You're going to need to find a different weapon or a different item with different enchantments to actually get the full benefit of having your gear be enchanted. But ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. I mean, just a quick little video just giving you an idea of how enchants work here in this game. I did tons of testing here, and honestly, it's fun to test out this stuff. I find it really interesting. And just to quickly summarize once again, yes, your melee weapon on your back does count for your primary guns. Enchants do not stack, and you want to have as many enchants as possible because as long as they're all different, they will all benefit you and make your character even more powerful. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving me a like, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.